This is what remains of the headquarters of the Democratic Republic of Congo's main opposition party, UPDS. Its leader, Etienne Tshekedi, is President Kabila's main rival. Armed men also set ablaze the offices of two other opposition parties in the capital, Kinshasa. Opposition supporters blame security forces for burning the buildings. We really deplore this kind of behavior. It's not what we want. It hurts. The police and the army are supposed to be apolitical. And when they get involved in these kind of conflicts, it's never good. Dieu merci Ikima survived the attack. Kabila goes to America and tells you things, and you let him get away with it. Kabila is an assassin. He's a bad man. He needs to leave this country. On Monday, there was violence between police and protesters demanding President Joseph Kabila step down. The polls are due in November, but the opposition fears that the president wants to postpone them and cling to power. The power belongs to the people. We have power to stop anyone trying to lead by force. Today we are going to notify Mr. Kabila that his mandate is over. This is the worst violence in the Congolese capital since a police crackdown in January last year. Opposition leaders say more than 50 people died when security forces fired live ammunition into protesters on Monday. The government says 17 were killed. These are sad and barbaric acts of extreme savagery. They have so far caused deaths of 17 people, three policemen and 14 civilians. At least 12 people died last year in similar protests. The Democratic Republic of Congo has never had a smooth transfer of power since independence more than 55 years ago. Mohamed Ado, Al Jazeera.